being more social it's something that for a while it's the only thing i could ever think about and i've come to learn that that want to be more social was merely me trying to prove to myself that there wasn't anything wrong with me that i was capable of getting along with people that i wasn't like unlovable or you know anything like that because i've outgrown that need it also comes with this idea that like the incentive to accept love and to accept friendships from people who kind of give you those friendships but they're kind of like half-hearted friendships that incentive that kind of like pales now that incentive to kind of like be social with everyone to get along with everyone just to prove it to myself that i could that there's no longer that incentive anymore Anyway, I got to campus at around 12 a.m. today and I got here very late because the previous night I couldn't go to sleep and I ended up watching travel vlogs and eating Frosties. I got to campus at around 12 p.m. Um, in the afternoon. I went into Grand Cafe and got a coffee. And I have an advisor meeting today. So I thought this would be a nice kind of period of time for me to kind of like just get coffee and just do a bit of reading. So after I got a coffee from Grand Cafe, I went into the library to go and to go and just read for a little bit, read and uh, drink some coffee. So um, this book I'm reading is called The Power of Positive Thinking. And I'm really enjoying this book simply because it's just one of those nice little books that you can kind of like pick up whenever you can take like a little gem from them it's you, it's not like a big commitment if you like you can kind of like uh, tap in tap out um, of the book yeah it's, it's really nice and this book it also inspires me to uh, number one think more positively but also just kind of like tone it down like slow it down you know be more present a lot of the times i am focusing on the next task and the next thing and the next vlog i got to do and this kind of one it kind of like slows me down so even today you know i got into uni at around 12 and i was thinking like okay, you know i got here i'll go to the gym and then i'll go to my advisor meeting but i was like no that's you're, you're rushing too much you're you're rushing you're trying to pack too much in and i've been trying to stop that like slow down you know you're trying your best and everything's gonna be okay like everything's gonna be okay you're trying your best and just slow down and stop worrying and that's what i'm trying to do uh that's what i'm trying to do here by not worrying about not going gym and waking up late and just sitting here and just reading and after that i done a little bit of journaling it was nice to do the, the journaling yeah it was just nice it was just nice sitting in the library and do reading and journaling and not much else not to take away from journaling but i have actually found myself not needing to journal as as much i'm not saying i'm not i'm gonna stop and that it's not a good thing it is a good thing but i found myself needing not to do it and the reason is is because i'm actually sharing with a lot more people now i'm sharing um you know i'm not just kind of like keeping things to myself which is something that subconsciously uh, i didn't even realize that i was doing but i was actually doing it so yeah anyway i went on a little bit of a walk and i saw lots of different people and i wanted to carry on with the message at the beginning of the video which is that basically you know today even today there was this guy and i've spoken about like setting up boundaries with people there was this guy and he was kind of like stepping on the boundaries and i kind of like enforced those boundaries and then uh, you know got got a little bit heated and then i started to explain to him like hey this is what you did wrong and he actually said um he was like oh i don't want to hear it and then when he was like i don't want to hear it i was like that kind of signaled to me when someone doesn't want to hear it when someone isn't willing to hear it out i was like you know that's it so so he was like i don't want to hear it and i was like okay if you don't want to hear it then i it's time for me to go and then he said i'll see you around and i said you won't be seeing me around mate <laughs> and um i was thinking about it and this wasn't like an isolated incident it was like a few things there was a few like things previously that i kind of like you know it wasn't just this one thing and basically i was thinking like oh am i gonna lose all my friends now with this new trail of thinking like am i gonna lose all, all my friends now but then i was thinking to myself like no i made the right choice and it's an act of faith it's an act of courage to kind of like want the best for yourself to kind of want friendships that aren't gonna you know because a lot of these friends friendships like it's not like they're bad they're good but the good comes with it's, it's like a package deal if you like it's like a good thing and a bad thing and i was gonna list examples but i don't really want to do it it's like you know because you think about it and you think about oh this person done this one nice thing that was really good and you kind of think that like you kind of use that to justify all the bad but you shouldn't have to justify all the bad 
you know there was this one incident with this guy and basically he gave me a compliment and he basically said my youtube channel is doing very well which is nice because you know i've been putting a lot of effort into it also said the following he said a full time ago i used to watch it and it used to get like 12 views and obviously the way i'm kind of saying it, it might not sound bad but the tonality and the way he kind of said it it was kind of like engineered to kind of like diminish me you see it's one comment to like uplift you and then it's another comment to diminish you and it's an act of faith it's an act of faith and it's an act of courage to, to be able to let go of those friendships that are treating you like that that come as that package deal and kind of like to look out and seek and maintain the friendships that do like you know don't come as a package deal and I'll there are going to be people out there who are so excited to see you there are going to be people out there who are going to ask you fervently to come with them on their outings to come with them on their lunch there are going to be people who always pick you as their first choice there are going to be people who always want to make you feel comfortable who always ask you about the things you're doing you're not even going to have to ask they're going to be people who you don't have to try you, you you don't have to try with and you have to have that faith you have to have that courage to believe that you are worthy of that and you know to kind of like step away from the kind of like friendships that are just like you know minimal effort or they're just there because you know you're convenient to them you know it's weird because it's weird for people like me I think because it's like you're so used to this binary thing of like nice and good and you don't understand that people could kind of like just kind of like you just kind of want to be like you you know but there are going to be people who aren't going to be like that. There are going to be people who look up to you, who value you, who look up to you like an older brother. You know, and you're going to inspire them and they're going to inspire you. And there are going to be people like that. And you do deserve that. And, you know, we, we have to believe in that. And then at 2.30, I believe I, we had our advisor meeting with uh, my professor, Professor Brand Huber, on the sixth floor of the um, Geo Jones building. Now, I can't lie, I did zone out a little bit just because I think it was like very hot in there and I don't know, I just kind of like zoned out maybe from the lack of sleep. But I believe we was just going over quantum tunneling. Um, we were just kind of like going over that and kind of using that to understand some of the derivations we was currently learning but before. And um, I also showed him my Overleaf project and I also asked him some questions about that. Um, I was joined by Ohm. Um, who doesn't normally come in. We just finished our advisor meeting. You know, yeah, went well. <laughs> with um, first time in person today. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. first time, but it's yeah, a rare after occurrence. After a while, after a while. But it was good to be here in person. Yeah. Which was nice. And, and yeah, he also told us that he was going to a talk in um, Copenhagen, I believe. Amsterdam. Like in Copenhagen um, to give a talk on black holes. Which was awesome. Obviously, me and Sam. Hello. Again. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> um, Sam, Sam is going to polity right now. Indeed. In indeed. arts too. I will not be going polity today, unfortunately. Are you looking forward to today, Sam? Are you going to say something? I am, because it's the last one before Easter. Well, reading. Reading week. Reading, reading week. I mean, when I first was in the society, I didn't say anything. But I feel like Are you going to say something today? I reckon I am. Yeah? I reckon okay. so. Okay. This is getting ready. I've been more they're making I'm in a group of people that are making me gradually more confident every meeting. That's really good. Is that polity going? Yes. Okay, polity. that's good. That's good. I came out around 4 p.m. and I saw some more people around and um I had my lunch outside Grand Cafe. I warmed it up and then I just went home. So yeah, thank you for watching.